以前有人吗？还是你要看我烂成绩，我也可以给你看。那就不要公开哦，那个烂成啊啊！不可能啦，怎么可能？不可能看别人的。哎，你是有些人就。会影响我们这种。要上课先还是考人先？上课先啊？考人先比较好。因为一上课就没有结束。等一下，等一下，等一下。对啊 ，OK。他他,他每次讲，他每次哦，每次那个对话都讲。We will, uh, we will, we will get give a break after we complete this book. 讲完这个东西，然后就听听别的东西，讲着讲着又讲讲讲，然后就讲讲讲讲。哈哈哈哈哈哈！因为因为讲讲，因为因为昨天是什么情况？然后，哎呀，又差一个 coronary 了。啊，讲完 coronary， 哎呀，没有 example 不好。哇，讲完了 example， 差不多跟九十两面了，还是讲完他算了。<笑>我然后在后面我们就会比较早。对啊，你下一次下一次叫我。没有没有没有没有没有没有没有没有没有没有，我说看你们还在看。哦，对，以后可以不看啊。喂、哎。哎呀，不看了，不看了。这勉强坚持。勉强坚持。我觉得你们有潜力。我觉得你们有潜力。我觉得收发遇过最好的事情。哪个吧？哈哈。期望太高。没有了。啊？<咳>不想让，但是如果你去其他班看了，我觉得你们这个这个精神可以延续，就这个态度啊，读书的态度，可以延到其他班。嗯，老师不够什么？精彩？什么意思？被你被你被 Q， 你有什么感想？被谁 Q 啊？你被被？好像 P D P 啊？<笑>我不知道什么情况哦，<笑>什么情况？不知道，就他出他出一个 P S， 然后来给我们做，然后我们做做到最后一题的时候，他就突然就把他名字讲。然后你们什么反应？然后我们来全部看到这边先，对，我感觉他整班的人应该没有人知道。这边全班都有我教过的人吗？啊，这几乎都是吧。这是理智，全部都是理智，桃子跟理智。对吧？桃子跟李子，李子，桃子跟李子，啊？有那些学生啊？桃李。哈哈哈哈哈！
哎，你你们你们也是第一个数学系给最高分的人。之前给我最高的就是那个 A I T 啊，就是那个 m i c t o n 啊，最高分。我就觉得你们两个班很像。啊啊啊啊啊啊、找另外一个东西啊，没有，不可以，不可以，不可以，二十六，不可以哈，哎，去不可以。哎，去你抄完不是你进来我就给你撕一半，<笑>我选一半给你。哈哈哈哈哈！我来抄吧。哈哈哈哈哈！<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>要带命啊！被别人写的，我已经写了。Can return 啊，对啊，我已经写了。对，他写的刀枪，然后刀刀不给他们，因为他的话他可以弄到很小啊。哎，你还讲吗？他讲，他讲写。没，他他差不多就是等时间。过分，的确，你刚才讲过分了，没有，最过分，我们以前就在，喂，讲过来，我讲过来，都讲过来，讲过来，讲过来，讲过来。很很很很，声音是吗？叫声，那叫声，很容易，很容易。听到没有？还有人呢？有声音，有声音。Hello， 啊 ，Hello， 听听。
他这是啥？我我吃了，我吃了，今天。都是啊。啊？没有没有，我吃他们。你说六三一？不懂，刚才就有的水。哎，还有其他人呢？一二三四，一起来。OK， 啊、uh, ，I think we go through some、uh, example of iso first isomorphism theorem first, and、uh, the midterm evaluation is out. So maybe later we can discuss a bit on your comment. Uh, right, because every time I discuss your result, right now you discuss my result. <laughs> okay, okay. So let's start with some uh, example first, and then we can uh, do that later. Uh, actually, there's some errata from last uh, lecture. So let me correct here. I already correct in the lecture notes. So let's see how I put this. So examples. First isomorphism theorem here. <clears throat> in particular, I want to draw this uh, example to you. Okay, I want you to see it visually. Okay, visually, how it looks like. Although it's an algebra. So um, one of the example was C cross over X1 is isomorphic to R cross. Okay, so yesterday I put R cross here. Actually, subject to where? What's this map here? First of all, you know what map is this? What's the subjection here? How to go from a multiplicative complex number to a multiplicative real number? Huh? Take the norm. Okay, you take the norm. Actually, you only subject to positive, right? Because after you take norm. It should be positive. Okay, so not the whole uh, multiplicative uh, rules is just a positive one. Okay, so I put it like this: greater than zero. There's no origin, right? Origin is not multiplicative, right? Okay, so there's no zero. So everything positive. So how do you show this? Ah,、huh? what do you need to do? By FIT, how many things you need to do? It is enough. Show that. The modulus function is a subjective homomorphism. And what? And. The kernel of the homomorphism is what is the thing that you quotient by. Okay, so it's the thing that you quotient by. What is S one? Ah, anyone still remember how to describe S one? Calculus two. How you draw the unique circle? How you parametrize the unique circle centered at zero? You use e to the i theta. Okay, theta going from where to where? To two pi. Hey, Hong Rui, they all are all gone. Hey, Hong Rui, where? Okay, sorry, I didn't see. Sorry. Okay. Hey, Jia Yi, yesterday I didn't see you. Where did you go? Oh, there's something. Okay, come. Okay. So you need to show these two things. Okay, to show that you have a uh isomorphism. Does it make sense? 有问题吗？这边、嗯、？Is this what we discussed yesterday? 还记得吗 ？Please check the lecture note if you forgot. Okay, what's the statement of、uh, F first isomorphism theorem? 
Okay, so you start with a subjective homomorphism, and then you look at the kernel of the subjective homomorphism. Okay, then the result of that theorem tells you that if you quotient your group by this kernel, it will isomorphic to the image. Okay, image of the homomorphism. Right. So <clears throat> can you see that it's, it's a subjection here? Well, I mean, uh, there's one thing you need to note here. How do you write the element in complex? I mean, complex form. Uh? What's the first thing pop up in your mind? Complex number. A plus bi such that a, b are in r. But I claim that this is not very useful if we want to compute modulus. What is a more useful way to describe complex number? Use the polar coordinate. Use polar coordinate. Okay, so you can write every complex number by the radius times wave e to the i uh, argument. Okay, the argument of this uh, number here. So, what is it then? Uh, R is in R for greater than zero, and then theta is going from <coughs> zero to two pi. Okay or not? Okay. You have picture in your mind, uh? Do you know how to draw C? Do you know how to draw C or not? So you start with a xy plane, not really xy plane, but a xyi plane. Okay, and then if you look at a random a b point, a plus b i, for example, is this point here. Then, how do you get your r and theta? r is exactly the length of this vector, and then theta is the angle that you calculate from the positive axis. Does that make sense? Okay. <coughs> All right. <clears throat> so this one is equal to uh, e to the anti. Okay. So um. All right. Why is this subjective? Uh? Or why is it a homomorphism? Okay. So why is it a homomorphism? You should know that for every um. Let's put what. Uh. For every. V and W and C, we should have modulus of V, B, V, W equals to modulus of V times modulus of W. Okay, how to prove this? Hmm? Just use the polar representation. Okay, use the polar representation, it will be easy to calculate. Why, uh, why is it easier? Note that uh, what is modulus of r to the e to the i theta? Make more spaces. Hmm? This one should be equals to the modulus of r times modulus of e. I did that. Okay. But what's the length of e to the i theta? It's just one. Okay. Yeah, but but our r is positive. Okay, so you need to use this fact here. Okay, so uh, use this. <clears throat> okay. Um, how about subjective? Actually, subjective also come from this fact here, right? I give you a positive real number. How do you find a complex number that have that length? You just simply take r, for example. Okay, or r times some e to the sum argument. Okay. Does it make sense? Or question? Any question? 
Okay. Well, then try write down this in full. Uh, in your try write down the full argument here. But I my claim is all the results you want to prove actually come from this equation. Then okay. the result that you want to prove comes from this equation. Okay. I give you the R how to find the complex number that has that length. Okay, and then why it is a homomorphism. Also, it is this factor to compute. And the kernel, uh, the kernel, I think we did it last time, right? We showed that the kernel of this is exactly x1. Okay, we did it, the nodes. Okay, and I think it's typed properly inside the type set version mm -hmm. also. Okay, so to show set equality, okay, revision. To show set equality, what do you need to do? You have to show that two sets is the same. What do you need to do? How many things you need to do? Two, right? Okay, you need to show that the left hand side is a subset of the right hand side, and then the right hand side is a subset of left hand side. So, which one is obvious uh, here? Left to right or right to left? Which one is obvious? Left to right or right to left? Left to right, right? Because if you take modules of e to the i theta, you always get one. But how to argue that everything inside the kernel is look like this? Eh? So everything in the kernel is an element of C. How do you represent C again? A complex number. How you represent it? Use polar representative. So how do you use polar representative? Eh? It is always R to the R times E to the I theta. But if you compute this modulus, what do you get? <coughs> I already compute already. You always get R, but R have to be equal to one. Okay, so R have to be always equal to one. So you need to be left with e to the i theta. Okay, also come from this equation here. So this equation is really crucial to answer all the questions. Okay, so this this uh, equation is really important. So maybe one thing non-trivial here was uh, to prove this. And maybe this part is non-trivial. Yeah. Why is this? Why is this true? Why can you split up? Okay. And why can you split up? So I mean, uh, in picture, how do you see this? Uh, how do you see this? Uh, how does, how do you see this isomorphism here? Well, I mean, we can draw all of this item here. Okay, we can draw all of this item here. So first of all, C cross. Where is C cross? Huh? C cross is this uh, complex plane here, but you don't take the origin. Where you take out the origin? <coughs> so let me uh, erase it. Okay. So just a complex plane without the origin. And then, where is the S1? Huh? S1 is the Unique circle center at the origin. <coughs> okay, so this is S1. A blank one. So what do we mean by left coset of this S1? Imagine what the left coset looks like. What's the LOT in C cross? Something. Multiplication. Okay, so you need to take a uh, complex number multiply to this circle here. So what will happen? <coughs> can you imagine what sort of code set you can see here? What sort of code set you can see here? What element live in the same code set? <coughs> so if you go back and compute, uh, the code set are exactly all the different radius of concentric circle, okay? Concentric circle around the origin. <coughs> okay, so it's a concentric circle around the origin here. So these are the coset. Okay, so for example, this one is maybe uh, some uh, two times x1, something like that. Okay, it's also equals to 
two times e to the maybe uh, i pi of x1. Okay, so they are the same code set here. Does it make sense? Okay. So these are the code set. So just now we proved what? This set of code set is isomorphic to real number. Can you imagine a real number here or not? Positive real number. Where is the positive real number? Maybe I draw the positive real number first. Or it's like this without a zero. So where is the positive real number here? <coughs> so how to see this diagram? Huh? We treat every circle here as one coset. Okay, we treat every circle here as one coset. And then where's the real number here? Where's the real number here? Where's the real number here? We sort of, maybe do like this. We sort of make this circle into one point. Can you see or not? We treat one circle with one radius. Okay，and呢，这每一个半径就会从你的 Okay, real number, the positive multiplicative uh, real number is not just an uh, in-bijection with this left coset, and also their group structure is the same. Okay, their group structure is the same. Okay, okay. okay. You see real number inside this uh, circle here? Yeah. Oh, okay, so what I want to say, you say, look at here. <coughs> how does this code set, how do, how do you write down the code set? You should take a complex number, multiply with the subgroup. The subgroup here is S1. So you take complex number, multiply by the subgroup. So you can see that one of the code set looks like what? Maybe two times S1. Real number is also a complex number, right? Okay. Then my claim was, if you take 2 times e to the i pi s1, it's the same code set here. Uh, this one requires proof. Why can I this? Actually, I use the fact that they have the same length from, they have the same length. Yeah, 2 and 2 times e to the i pi. I mean, okay, let's, let's quickly see why these two code sets are the same. Quickly see. Uh, just check one element, okay? Check one element. Other is a similar check. For example, check two. Is two inside here? Two times one. Why? Uh, you like Tony Gerwin, what term B? What term B? Is two inside the coset of two times S1? Huh? Can you see? Okay, how? Is two. Why? Good. Because S1 is a subgroup, it has identity. So 2 is inside there. So if two, if, if this 2 is the same set, meaning if 2 here, 2 must be in the other set. Is 2 in the other set or not? Can you find 2 in the other code set here? Yeah, no problem. Continue, I'll show you how to do it. 
，最正就，他就 look for two year。So two times e to the i pi times what is two? Three, three. Power 减 i pi， 但是减 pi 不在我们的 range 里面嘛？可以选别的吗？这是什么啊？我的 range 是，我的 range 啊。我觉得我要加二排进来，是吗？我要加二排，啊，你给我想一下，我要不要加二排进来？对，我知道 B 边，但是，但是等一下的计算会出现二排，不有问题吗？哦，不有问题 ，OK， 不有问题，我只要计算吧 ，OK，Anyway，OK，Right，、okay, okay, okay, so 你看我的 pi is going from zero to two pi， 所以 negative pi is not in my choice。Any other useful choice or not? Pi right, because e to the i pi plus i pi is what e to the two pi i. E to the two pi i should be zero. Zero then g zero is one. Then e to the two pi i is one. Okay, e to the two pi i is one. Okay, so similarly you can show for other element in the same way to show it. Okay, similarly you can be used for all the other element such as these other two. So you see, actually you can pick the real number as the representative here. Okay, it's more useful. Okay, you can pick real number as the representative here. So if you consider all the different radius, these are just a real, okay, positive real line. If you look at all the different radius. Okay. Yes. So I mean, if you collect closer with different radius here, then this radius will form a positive real line. Positive real line. Yes, represented by one one radius. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yes. 可以明白吗 ？OK， so let me draw you a general picture. Let me draw you a general picture for this FIT here. What we really doing here? Let me draw you this picture here. So, uh, first of all, we have a group, right? So we have a group here, G. Okay, and then we have a core domain, right? G prime, and then such that we have a surjective homomorphism. Okay. But this adjective homomorphism here, we have something called a kernel, which is normal. Uh, let's call it n. So given you uh, n, right, you can partition your group. Okay. So under this partition, what happened? What happened to this map? Uh, the image of this map? You can see that uh, you will send n to where? You know where you send n to? n is a kernel of this uh, homomorphism. So let me put here kernel of oh, five. Where do you set n to? Hmm? Identity. Oh, yeah, identity. And then where do you send a n to? Sorry? Phi of a. Phi a times five n, right? I mean, you should like do something like this. Sorry, 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 not like this. Uh, you should apply to all the like ni like that. Okay, but ni is a kernel. <clears throat> so let's get rid of this. And then what else? Also, you get uh, for example, phi b, and you also get phi phi c like that. Okay, what about what about the canonical map pi? Eh? What happened in the g mod n here? What's the picture you need to imagine here? Actually, uh, what we do, uh, let me tell you. Uh, we are contracting the coset. Okay, we somehow we are contracting the coset. So we just look at a single coset here. Okay, so what we are really doing here is like we are looking at a single coset here. Why? Because what? We send all the element to its the coset that it belongs. So for example, 
there's like A1, A2 here, right? All of them, we send it to the same code set. Okay, so similarly, so there's a, this is a map that we call it, it is canonical. It is natural, okay, to the, uh, based on what we have defined, okay, based on what we defined. And then where's the isomorphism here? Still remember the phi bar? How do we define the phi bar? We just send it to phi a, I, I just send it to phi a bar, I just send it to phi a. So we just send these code set to the correct uh, image that correspond to their pre-image. I mean, the, the image that, um, that the, I have to see this. Huh? So we just send, um, right. We just send phi a n to phi a and then phi c n to phi c and then phi b n to phi b. Okay. So can, can you see the bijection here? Can you see the bijection? Okay, so when we look at this set of code set, we see it as one thing only. It's not a set anymore. We just see it as a whole. Okay. Because these are the elements inside your quotient. Is it contract to one thing just now? You see, we contract the circle to just a radius. Radius already described everything inside the circle. Does it make sense? Okay, can you imagine this story? Any question? Okay, if no question, I give you exercise. I'll go back and draw this exercise. So I'll go back and draw these two examples here. So what about this one? Okay, how do you imagine this? Okay, this map is what? This map is actually e to the x. Okay, e to the something. And then there's another example, uh, which is r quotient by z. Okay, this is isomorphic to uh, S1. Okay, so go back and try and draw them. Uh, try to appreciate this uh, contracting uh, code set. E to the, e to the I something. Okay, yeah, go back and draw. Uh, see how these uh, left code set, okay, get isomorphic to some uh, concrete group. Great group. Okay. Any question so far? You want to know what you want to do? You want to know what you want to do? Feel free to ask. Uh, because you are new, you are meant to do mistake. So please do mistake, but learn and correct it. <coughs> Okay. I think this concept is quite, quite deep, okay, but I want you to appreciate it. I guess it's not just up algebraically. I want you to see it uh, visually, right, geometrically, not just uh, an algebra or group isomorphism. Any question? Oh, 对, you can you go one one tier, uh, so, uh, 如果你觉得你没有想好你就问不是
，当你问到一个程度是那种，你知道你是自己解决不了，肯定是要求别人的时候，那时候你就一定要问，因为这个这个东西就是我们在做研究的时候就是这样一个情况。为什么有这么多的 collaboration 啊、合作啊，要去找不一样的 feel 啊，或者找厉害人呢、啊？因为他们已经是到了一个程度，是自己已经想不到的，所以他需要去 get inspiration。这也是其中一个为什么会有很多 conference 的原因。所以大家聚集起来，就是给 input、给 idea 自己的看见、想法。你明白吗？因为你只有二十四小时，你不可能看完所有东西的。所以你可能要需要别人的观察 ，you understand？ <咳>因为别人就算观察得到啊，哦、oh, ，too much Chinese 啊 ，you can understand 啊。This is a very important message 啊。So people, why why researcher go to conference 啊 ？Because、uh, they need to get input from the others. Because you cannot do everything by yourself. Okay, even if you make an observation, you might not know why it is true. But the other guy could know, just that he didn't have this、uh, observation. So you can tell him, then maybe he can tell you some knowledge that you don't know. Okay, so、uh, you need to practice to ask question. I know in the other classes you don't have a chance to ask, so please ask in my class. Okay, no, ask in my class. This this is a very important skill to learn. Actually, doesn't matter、uh, whether you will do pure maths in future or not. This is a very important skill for your life also. Okay, 明白吗？这是一个很重要的一个技能。那就算你没有做研究，不是在做数学，也是要问的很多东西。Okay, yeah. Please, ah,、uh, train to ask question, <clears throat> and then you ask better, better quality of question. Okay, okay. Please ask, ah,、uh, must ask. Ah, I for you, ah, actually, very much confidence. You guys, actually, is I think so far I have encountered the best math school. I mean, with what I imagine math school is like, um. 有有配，怎么？怎么？干嘛干嘛干嘛？干嘛？没有没有，我没有对每件事情讲，我真的没有对每件事情讲。有一个班甚至给我骂到很惨。对。啊？什么叫 unique？ 呃，至少从 assignment 来看，就是说，一，你们学习态度好；二，你们又可以 perform。OK， 说、so, 我觉得是蛮不错的。我觉得你们要继续努力，就算你没有做数学，你这个态度也要继续下去。OK， so I was saying that uh this classes have a good study attitude. So please uh blend into your classmate and then have a healthy competition within yourself. Okay, healthy one. So meaning you can help each other and learn from each other. Okay, learn from each other. 我们来一只狗对着我。Okay. Uh, so speak until here. Maybe we can discuss a bit on your comment, and then we can continue again. So, all right. So this is my midterm test. Ah, hey, is it correct or not? Yeah, this one. Hey, so this one, ma. Sorry, ah, this one is different here. Ah, can you see my previous score? Ah, okay. Okay. Uh,有有一个一这边啊，there's someone。我觉得，我觉得这个一应该不是在针对我。OK，我怎么分析啊？因为他在这边的时候没有给我很多一，但是about cost，这个about我。而且这一行他没有给我很差，所以他应该是在
you don't go and mock your teacher. You need to give constructive. You need to say what is good about that teacher and then what is bad that you think need to improve you give suggestions. Okay? But don't mock the teacher. Okay, so <笑>我不知道是谁如果你朋友你知道你朋友给我一的话啊我觉得你可以让他来找我因为他觉得很难他来找我或者这个哪一的同学可以跟班长或者班长来不如行我稍起你可以问一下你可以告诉他一下原因
，你懂我讲什么吗？你们要训练你们自己去变成一个嗯成熟的人，可以跟人家讨论东西的，而不是一个被支配的人。OK 吗？我不希望你读了数学系哦，你还是出去被支配。You have to have your own thinking, own decision making, decide what is true and false for yourself. OK, I'm not not no need people to tell you what is true and false anymore. 我的考卷第一题就是要你知道什么是 true and false， 要怎么证明 false？ 要怎样？给 counter example 或者 disprove， 你一定要 acquire 这个 skill 的，啊，不然你数学系就是 bachelor of arithmetic， yeah， not bachelor of mathematic， 你只会算吧， okay， you only know how to calculate， it's not true， you need to decide what's true or false， this process is pretty hard， okay， but please learn， okay， so Actually, I have a. I also have similar, um, similar comment from previous year. So what I do this year was I ask people to type it up. Okay, so at least you have something to like. You have a section by section, clear section there. Okay. Hey, where is Xiu Tong? Ah, Xiu Tong. Where is Xiu Tong? Xiu Tong, eh? Is there? Ah, no. No, not. He's at where? 好、oh, ，太别急 ，OK，OK， 太别急 ，OK，And、okay. then， <笑> yeah， 说，说，其实啊，如果有人写这句话啊，我不知道你有没有对照有 reference 啊，啊，我是不会做到像那个 Prof Dio 这样的，我是不可能，我觉得没有必要 ，OK， 你也读不完，啊 ，I mean， 如果你们是有这种 comparison 啊，我要跟你们讲清楚这些话。OK， 我要讲清楚，我可以把它变成 organized， 但是我一定不会做到那样子。OK 了。当 homework sometimes too hard， sometimes don't miss the class。OK 呀， miss the class on time， 这个有几， this is one of the main point。呃， over over time break can be punctual too。So well， I mean 你如果随时时间很准啊，你可以提醒我一下，其实。Yeah， 啊。啊，你可以提醒我一下，其实我我是 OK， 因为有时候呃，讲到一个点了就不想停，因为一停又回来的话，我又要重新，呀，又要重新铺陈，呀，所以 I mean， 说、so, for example yesterday， 呃，就比如说另外一个 solution 就是提早玩哦，因为如果我断了又回来就就又要重新讲过一次 ，OK， 说、so,。If you are a person on time, you can let me know. Okay. If I really go over time, ah, usually I will look at the time. But sometimes, um, yeah. 就讲到一个点就会继续了。但是你可以提醒我 ，OK？ 你提醒我啊。如果我真的嗯不盘车的话，其实我也没有很长不盘车啦。我觉得三十 percent 吧，没有这样夸张，对不对？二十三十 percent 吧，对不对？喂，哪有七十？我有看。It's better to have a course way。这个我不是很明白是什么。我们有 lecture notes 啊，我不明白这句话是什么。啊、uh, ，It's better to have course way。如果你你讲不清楚的话，你可以跟少奇或者洛欣啊、呃、反映一下，他们可以保护你的 privacy 的，他们不用告诉我是谁讲。OK。Yeah， you can， you can ask them to pass message to me。OK， because this is not clear。Okay, it's better to have cosplay. I don't understand. Does it imply that you don't look at Moodle? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Ah, all things good. No, no. Ah, this one. Upload the assignment. Samsung. Sometimes. Um. Ah. Okay, this one I need to uh explain a bit. Sometimes I was uh waiting for the late submission. Sometimes. I was waiting for the late submission. Okay, don't think that you submit Friday. All of you submit Friday, ah.、Uh. Maybe some of them next Friday, oh. Okay, so there's some、uh, extra factors happen here. You don't understand. I understand. Okay, so I need to tell you what happened. Okay, but in the case that really too long, 
you can try and ask me. I'll tell you what. Okay or not? So everything happens here, you should uh, communicate with me. Okay, 不要就以为我就要这样。除非我会告诉你有些东西我不能够变。Okay. Yeah, I think basically it's this. Other things okay. Yeah, one of them says that uh, this uh, office hour helps them a lot. Yeah, this is why I have this uh, office hour having your senior to help you guys. Okay, so please come. You will definitely benefit if you uh, really Active in a... okay, yeah, okay. Uh, anything you want to input? Huh? You may have lost here, one piece here, put something, jail, and lose it. Answer, yes, sir. So, may I answer? Yes, <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, you need to treat these uh, self evaluation uh, properly uh, because uh, usually good teacher will see it and also our boss will sometimes refer to it. So you need to give a genuine feedback. This is not a bad thing, but you need to give a constructive feedback. Okay? If you don't give it, you don't have a chance. Your voice will not be heard. You need to write properly. Constructive feedback. Hey, why you come here? You come here, you come here. Then you come here, you don't come here. Okay, it's fine. It's joint. Okay. Yeah. Ah, I think you guys are now a little bit stubborn. 想啊 ，advertise 一下，可能你还没有拿过考试，我也不知道你们会对我怎样嘛。考完过后，把 anyway， 嗯，我对你们的 first impression 是很好，呃，从你们的分数开给我，我也觉得你们应该也对我蛮好。嗯、呃，可以不要改变，改变谁？不要改变谁？那你的班呢？也是那个。<笑><笑>没没没没，等等等等，其实我对考试是蛮认真的一个人，我从小就考到大，可能我考了不下一千场吧，考试大大小小，会啥什么 ？I don't know， 但是我是对每一场都很认真的人，我谢谢你们。但是就是说，但是说，我我我虽然是从考试能够看出你们的程度在哪里。然后我们就可以看怎么去来努力啊，怎么去，嗯、呃，看你去不会的东西，然后我们看一下怎么去进步它。因为如果我只考那种，嗯、呃，你做过啦，那种看过啦，这样我就不知道你会还是不会啊，你明白吗？因为，呃，我们就是想看你的理解在哪里，有没有理解到这个东西 ？OK， 能够讲的就是我们的这种题目其实是答案短短的。但是你要想得到那个点，这个重点 ，OK 吗？嗯 ，But yeah， 啊，还有一个东西就是，呃，下个学期啊，你觉得你们会有人拿 Pure Max 的 M 一？可以举手一下，有兴趣啊，不一定要拿，有兴趣吧 ？Pure Max M 一，三个罢了，四个罢了 ，Four only four。Oh, anyone interested in taking 啊、uh, Pure Max M 一 ？Can I have a look? How many people interested on it? Not need must take. I just want to see any any pure max. I mean, <coughs> only about six ah, uh, six like that. Yeah. So I mean, um, there's one me I can suggest you to take, which is the uh, general topology. Okay. Why is it good ah? Uh, why is it good for you? Because it is uh, very closely related to MA2. Okay, MA2 actually is an example, a specific example for general topology. So if you study these two together, right, you are like two in one. <laughs> I agree, I agree. 
Yeah, two in one. <coughs> it's two in one. Okay, two in one. So, um, yeah. So I think it will help your understanding uh, if you look at this together. Really, for sure. Traumatized. Yeah. Traumatized. Traumatized. Yeah. Traumatized. But this is also reality. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Let's go again. Yeah. 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 Come and take it. Okay. If maybe if you take it, maybe I'll consider see if I want to teach or not. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Think, think, can you think, 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 think. 对我觉得很难啊，表妹是太难了，太难。呃，其实我也觉得很难，但是就嗯，喜欢呢就一直做吧、嗯。所以就还是问你自己啊，喜不喜欢 ？Do you like it? If you like it, just do it. Even if you're not good at it, because in one day you will be good at it. You will be even better than those genius one day. OK 吗？ Hey, the, because I've already produced many genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because I'm I'm also not a genius. Okay, I'm also not a genius. I'm 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 not a 学校做梦，眼睛不是我做功课。哎哎，你知道吗？我小哎，我小哎，要比哪第一名啊？我差不多每次在第二，我就在第二。有一个最厉害，有一个最厉害的女生，啊，女生很厉害，每次第一名啊，哇，这么天生会那种。但是我有超越她几次。他五年级的时候超越他几次，然后就这样。<笑>小学的时候，这样。<笑> so I mean， 就，所以我我是努力过来的人，所以我知道。可能有些老师不是努力，可能他真的是天生有一点天才，不知道。所以他不能够共情这种东西。我是可以的，我是很努力的，我是很努力的。OK， 我是努力学的。所以为什么我每一个 proof 看得懂？因为我都看过，我都有去看为什么他这样子。真的 ，OK 了。So I mean， 我希望你们可以学一点东西回去，从这个班，就算以后可能我不会再看到你们。OK， 希望你们可以学一点啊。Yeah， 可以可以。<笑>希望没有这么长，希望没有这么长。好、哦，所以你们考试啊，就尽量考吧，不要不要太什么压力。OK， 就尽量能做多少就做多少。呀，不要 stress， 不要 stress。啊、呃，如果考不好也不用紧，下次再努力，再努努力。哎，我给你们讲过一个故事吗 ？Did I tell you a story before？ 没有。OK， I got a student. Actually， got two 啊。Okay, one in calculus two. The midterm was uh twenty nine. Okay, you know what he get in final? Huh? Ninety two. Yeah, exactly. Strong boy. In my class, it's possible. Okay, if you work hard, you can climb climb high. This is the setting in my class. Okay, in other class, I don't know. Okay, in my class, you can do this. Just recently, man, I taught them general topology. Also got a case, thirty or thirty-two, final seventy-three. You don't talk about this, it's easy, isn't it? You have to think, ah, you are a very smart person, you have to get thirty. Almost nothing you can do. Thirty. How many grades can jump? How many grades? 现在很多 grade 出来了，嗯 ，OK。So I mean in my class 啊 ，my the setting in my class is if you are working, 
you can achieve what you want. Okay, but 厦门有一个 observation 啊 ，I mean， 有很多很努力的人啊，努力做方法，他花了时间跟他的那个 result 得不出正比，有有这群学生在，我看到，我看到他努力，他来问我，还问可能超过去上课学的东西，但是就是不好啊，成绩。所以哦，学习方法是一个重点了。如果你有 ，if you if you if you notice that I put so many times, but my grade still not good, you need to think what's wrong in this process. You need to change it. You have to. Okay, you have to change it. You have to change it. I don't know how to change. You have to change it. You need to find way. You ask people, ask your friend, ask me, ask everyone. Okay, have to change it. You need to. You need to compare how much effort you put in and how much result you get. 自己比较 okay. If 不成正比 not up to the right ratio, you need to see what's wrong in the progress there. What did you do? Okay, 很重要哦，这个东西。自己要想啊，这些问题，因为每个人的问题都不一样，你要解决你自己的问题。<coughs> OK 了，听嘛 ？OK， general topology 的东西我们考完试再问啊。考试再。OK， 呃、uh, ，Yeah， right。So I mean， thank you for your marks 啊。Actually， um， so far I think this is the， I think best mark I get from the MIT。Yeah。以后看。I mean, first impression, ah, because ah, usually they get better with me than they will give me high marks. So first impression, I think is good. Ah,、uh, my first impression on you is also good. Actually, I hope that ah,、uh, every batch of ah、uh, MIT students is like you guys. Hmm, match my expectation to a student. They have to be hardworking, even even they are not clever. Okay, I think we should take a break. Break until eight zero eight. Okay, we'll start new、uh, section. Things. Because, no one knows. So, what? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You have two, you have two, ma. We can't let it run wild, so complex. We can't let it run wild. So we can't let it run wild. Ah? Let it run wild. Because if we let it run wild, it's going to be too much. 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 对啊，对，带一个圈。你是说那个圈一定要在 complex 吗？对不对？但是我是说在 x y plane 上面也有一个圈。然后那个圈就要用 e to 的什么玩意儿啊？那是一号和 two pi 啊？为什么是一号 ？e to 的 two pi。什么东西？你知道为什么我没懂？哦，那一个 OK， 那。<笑>那个要考虑，那个要考虑，呃，波拉考的那个，然后那时候的话要用，有点少，对啊，然后如果写成是一个，人一样，人一样，人一样。好像不给，好像不给。有 I， 但就是 cos cos 比它逗号再比它。对啊，当然不行啊。对啊 ，OK， 这样这样这样，耶耶耶，又没有 I 在那里。OK， 一一是因为它，是因为它有 I。I 把 cos 跟 sin 掉。我这样，因为我来这边分析。还是那个你们要在，嗯，对，有说。这么好，我搞不来，才这么快就下网。哎，对呀，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来
我不理他，爱死我不理他，这个 不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不会，不
但是如果你看 quotient group 的话，它一定要 normal 的，它一 normal 啊，你就可以开始做这个东西。要 normal 和 kernel 吗？不是 normal 了，它就肯定会是一个 map 的 kernel。因因为那个 map 就是说把这个把这个 n 上去一就好了，对吗？嗯，其实我在想怎么从怎么怎么怎么从 normal 推这个法。嗯，我在想怎么从这个 normal 推这个法。呃，就 define 一个 map such that 全部是 identity， 但是 n 让它去一。什么叫全部是 identity？ 就是就是就是这个 map pi pi 就是这个 pi map。对啊，它就是个 pi map。对啊，选 pi 为它 pi map。哦，对啊。呀，这么我我觉得我懂这边，但是我不懂别人。对，如果一个这个是给了，这个没有什么好搞的，这一个比较特别。这个 normal sample 这一个一定会是一个 normal sample。define 要找。define， 昨天我们有 define 一个 unique。但因为其实你在这个情况下，你搞的话，你只需要把这个 pi 本身设置那个 pi 就啊那个 pi 吧。这样子的话，那个 pi 肯定是单位。这个 pi induce 出来的没？ pi 吧的那个那个在哪里？因为你肯定能把你送到科学狗，我他妈。对啊，农夫的话就可以包住。哎，我想跟你说，你不是唯一一个被名号称 Q 的人，好吗？我也被 Q， 你自己看他哥写了什么东西在上面，真的是。他讲他他随便找啊，<笑>我信他个鬼，真的是。又有人抄你的档案？应该没有，应该是有人抄你档案。嗯，举手干嘛？放下去，放下去，放下去。哎、欸。啊 attendance. 小杨、红杰、子明、伟泽，子涵也是子涵，听到吗 ？OK， 子涵，子涵 ，you're not here tomorrow, yesterday, yeah. Yesterday replacement class, not here. Why you're not here? Ah, sorry, one lah.、Oh, okay, check check your not, eh, check your teams, eh. Ling Jing. 呃、uh, ，Adrian， 嘉玲，子谦，李佳，嘉玲，好，齐，有 ，Jasmine，Albert， 陈碧，金鱼 ，OK， 金鱼，浩瑞，子豪，戴一成 ，OK， 金，金鱼 here already， 金鱼 ，still not here， 金鱼，邱彤，冰夏 ，OK， 小月。子涵，子涵是前面这个的，黄瑞、雨轩、孙佳怡、黄康宇、佳怡、舒瑶。哎，孙佳怡为什么昨天没有来？怎么他什么？听不到？睡过了，睡过哈、啊。哦、oh, ，OK，OK、okay, okay.。云溪，云溪，云溪也没有来啊。云溪哪天？哪天？云溪跟修彤。哎，最后还有那个一房哈，然后他一整排不进去。张云、严胜、姚一成，小，哎 ，sorry， 记到带一成去。哎，一房，一房没有在，中一房。OK， 安平、若星、赵胜、满春、昊天、金星、啊、秋哥、瑞雪、汤星、林恩、伊恩、郑源、赵瑞、诺天、金金鹏呢？刘金鹏，刘金鹏，诺天。All right. Uh, so just now someone asked, right? What's this uh map going backward? Uh? What's the last map in this triangle here? This is the remember. This is the map that's induced by phi. Okay, this is the map that induced by phi. Such that what phi will factor through pi. Okay, phi will factor through pi. Okay. Also, ah, uh, whenever you get this a、uh, normal subgroup, ah,、uh, you can always form this subjective map. You know what map you can take ah、uh, in this picture. You can just take pi. 
Okay, pi is the subjective map that you want, actually. So that's why I said that every normal subgroup can be a kernel of some homomorphism, which is the canonical map here. Okay, just tap pi. <clears throat> okay. Huh? Come on. Okay, let's continue. Uh, let's continue. Uh, I want to introduce free group first. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay, so what's three groups? So let's give some uh, motivation here. Huh? Chanting it to you later, we will, de we will define it. Okay, later we'll define it. No, 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 S3. Okay, so one uh, and revision was the uh, element in S3. One, two, two, three, one, two, three, then one, three, or one, three, two, both. Okay, so you have six elements here. All right, so but, but, but I claim that uh, this group, okay. So let's call it S S3B. Okay, so this group can be generated by two elements. <laughs> you while lower. Okay, so this element is generated by two elements. One of them has order two, the other has order three, and satisfy this uh, commutativity relation. Okay, y x equals to x y squared. And then I claim that <clears throat> it's isomorphic. So what do I mean by this? Uh? Generated by x, y means what? What are the possible elements here? <coughs> Generated by two elements. So the middle element is what? Give me an example. x, y. I will Obviously, x and y have to be in there. Okay, identity because you are a group. And then what other possibility? X Y square. What else? Y X square. Good. And then maybe X X X X X X X X X X hundred dollar. Huh? And then oh okay. Later we'll deal with that. Yeah, later we'll deal with that. X hundred. Maybe Y to the two hundred. Right, maybe what? X, 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 Y, X, Y, X, Y, X, Y, X, Y, X, Y, and so on, right? But let me ask you a question. Uh. Is this set really fine, infinite? Uh? Is it really infinite? Why not? Can we reduce? For example, what can be reduced here? X to the 100 can be reduced to what? X, E, right? Because the order is two. Okay. And then two, how many X2 are? X2. Sorry, E. How many X2 here? 50 times, right? Okay. Also, Y, eh? Y to the 200 can reduce to what? <coughs> Mod 3, right? Mod 3, what do you get? Y squared, good. Okay. And then, what else? Uh, what else, huh? Okay, just how Lydia says what? What did Lydia say? Why x squared can written as in what form? Using this uh, relation here. Huh? Or for example, x, y squared or x squared, uh, s. Okay. Can we reduce further or not? 
x y square x. Okay, can we reduce further? We can keep using the y x property, right? Okay, to move. You see how why this how nice is this y x property here? It swap x and y, but at a extra expense, you create extra y here. Okay, if y x equal to x y means what? X and y commute. But here it commute with an extra y. Okay. So I mean you can continue to create to, to move y on to the other side, right? So if you continue move y to the other side, what do you get? X, y, x, y square, and then x, x, y square, y square. Okay. But you can reduce this y square, y square again. Because y to the 3 is identity. And then f to the 2 is identity. So in total, what do you left with? Y. Sorry? So if that? Y x square. Oh yeah, sure. I mean you can you can uh, straight away use this uh, order property here. But I want to demonstrate to you how to use this uh, relation. Okay. Yeah, I want to demonstrate to you how to use this relation. So if you uh, compute in the end, you will just get y. Like Rosing said, you can uh, apply x square to identity. So you just get y also. Okay. So you have, you have different way to get y. But why I want to do this, I want to demonstrate you how to use this uh, relation here. Meaning what? Whenever I give you a bunch of uh, uh, product of x, y, you can always do what? Move x to one side, move y to the other side by introducing more y. Okay, but you can see that at most how many y you can produce, uh, non-trivial, either y or y squared. Once you reach y cubed, you will reduce to identity. Okay, so my claim, uh, this is my claim, uh, there's also only six elements inside here. Okay, so this is claim. So there's only six elements inside here, which is uh, identity, x, y, x, y, and then x, y, square, e, e, san, si, wu. How you got? Huh? Y square, good, thank you, very good. Wow, can you hear me? So there are, I claim out there's only six elements inside here. Okay? Try and play around with the relation. Hey, that. Don't talk about who. Yung to ye tong si yung tui. Because if you generate with this six element, it's still this six element here. Okay? Yeah, if you. You can use a lot of things generate, you can use two of them, but I claim that they are the same set. Okay? Yeah. You can use this, you can use this. I mean, yeah. They are the same. Right, so there are six elements here, and then there are six on the other description here. And then I claim that there's an isomorphism between these two sets. Okay, so there's an isomorphism between these two things here. So what's the isomorphism here? So I can send uh, E to identity. And then X has to be a order two element. Again, Y is an order three element here. So I just simply send to one of them, or maybe like this. Okay, and then I claim that these two will determine where these two, three, and one, three, and one, three, three, go. Correct or not? Why? Uh? Oh, can you write 2, 3 in terms of 1, 2, and 1, 2, 3 or not? So I can write 2, 3 as 1, 2 times 1, 2, 3. Right? Check out. Uh. Exam will have this kind of calculation. Uh. Okay. But uh, where did I send? Where did I send uh, 1, 2, and 1, 3, 2? Because this map has to be a homomorphism. So phi of a 2, 3 is just phi of 1, 2, and phi of 1, 2, 3. But I already tell you where I send them to. Okay, so meaning I need to send 2, 3 to x, y. So I have to go this way. So you should check where two, 1, 3, and 1, 3, 2 go also. Okay, so my claim is one of them will go to y squared, the other one will go to x, y squared. 
Theory is quickly compute. Uh, one tree has to go away. Quickly compute. To go x y square or y square. If this map is the whole map. Use this technique, same technique. Can you write one tree in terms of what? In terms of these four product of two of them. Which two of them? One, two, three, one, two. Okay. Three man. Okay, so if I do phi on them, what do I get? What is phi one, two, three? Y? What is phi of one, two? X. But we know that y x equals to x y squared. Okay. So this one tree should go to x y squared, and then you should check that one tree two should go to y squared. <coughs> okay. Okay. So we're gonna do this in a general uh, setting. Okay. So let's do the theory now. So definition. So now I'm gonna learn language. Yeah? 现在是学习语言的时候, okay, we'll have a lot of ABC here. So let X prime be, for example, ABC and uh, also with their inverses, okay, be a list of symbols. Okay, 符号罢了. You don't need to use ABC also. Maybe you can use, uh, what do you want to use? Roman. Character also can. Greek character character also can. But they have to uh, build in with their inverse here. And then we will define that a word is a finite string of symbol. Symbol. Okay. Finite list. Finite string of symbols. Okay, for example, what is the word here? B U S bus. Bus is a word. Yeah, just put it as a string, finite string of symbol. And later we will define uh, what, what these uh, inverse should do. Or oh, now we don't know what they should do. I just put a symbol like that. Okay, yeah. Okay. Later we will, we will define what's the usage of this inverse. So maybe you can form bus inverse. It's a word. Okay, these are word. It's a finite string. You cannot put buzz dot dot dot. Okay, so this is not a word. Not a word. Okay, we need a finite string. Okay, buzz not a word. Okay, because not a finite string. So need to be a finite string. And then next, ah, I will define this notation. Ah. The length of a word is a modulus W. So please don't use modulus of an element in this way. Ah. I know why you use it ah, because order of a set is using modulus, right? But order of an element, please don't use this notation ah, because we keep it for this length of a word. Okay, so please don't put order of element using modulus. I see a lot of your uh, assignment using it. Uh, please don't use it for element. So the length of a word, what do you think? <coughs> is what? Yes. It's the number of symbols in its strings. Okay. So for example, what is the length of a bus? Three. Then of a bus is three. Okay, next. Very quick. Uh, there's a lot of uh, not, uh, terminology you need to learn first. So a word is in X reduced form. Okay. Reduced form. If all the uh, possible cancellation is are made. 
So what are the possible cancellation here? So this will answer the question by Lydia, what's the inverses do? So if you see x and x inverse, or x inverse, x sitting side by side, you just cancel them, cancel them. Okay, <coughs> okay. for example, what? For example, uh, A, B, B inverse, C inverse, C, B. Okay, what's the reduced form of this word? Wait, uh, let me write first. So the reduced form of this word is just A, B. Reduced. This word is A, B. Because you cancel B inverse, B, B inverse, C inverse. <coughs> okay. So it's like an uh, inverse in a group elements of group theorem. Right. So the proposition is okay. So here come the proposition. There's only one uh, reduced form of a given word. Okay. And then we will denote it as a uh, W, W not. Okay. So reduce. Okay, so how to prove this? Uh? How to prove this? So actually, this is by uh, so I quickly sketch the proof. So this is by a strong uh, induction on the length. Okay, so this is a uh, some um, very how say. Very classical proof. Very classical type of proof. Okay, so in strong induction on the length of W. Okay, so if uh, the length of W is zero, okay, then what does it mean by the length is zero? Uh? No symbol. Okay, so this is the thing that we call the empty word. Okay, so empty word is also important. So obviously empty empty word is a unique one. <coughs> Is one such a uh, unique reduced form? Uh, what else? Uh, now we will use induction. Suppose, okay, all W, all words with the length uh, less than equals to n has one reduced form. Okay, suppose you can do it for length less than or equals to n. What do we do? Now consider a word W with uh, with what with length n plus one. <clears throat> okay. So the claim is uh, if W is reduced, then uh, we are done. Okay, if we reduce, then we are done. Okay, why? So there's no cancellation you can make. Okay, then we are done. Well, I mean, if you want to show there's only one, right? You need to do what? Suppose there's another one. I okay, suppose there's another one. Uh, but these two would have finite length. Okay, they are equal, but they are finite length. Okay. So, is it unique or not? There's only one reduced form, but you already have one reduced form. Why is it the only one? No cancellation can be done, right?
Is it obvious? Not obvious, huh? Hmm. Okay, so let me write down example. Uh, for example, uh, what are reduced form? Uh? So example, A, B, C, D. Maybe reduced form. Okay, there's no cancellation. It's done. It can be done. So the claim is, this is unique. There's only one reduced form. Because there's no cancellation. It can be done. <coughs> Okay, so uh well, can't you see? Give us a second. Hmm. Hmm. Feel like I don't know what you're asking, but I'm now still not pinpoint the problem. Okay, now. Ah. Okay. 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 Okay, yes. Oh, okay, wait, sorry, okay. Right, okay, so, right, you see, uh, if it is reduced, why are we done? Because uh, this is a finite length, right? So you can look at the first n term. Then by the theorem says, by the straight reduction says, well, the first n term should have a unique form. Okay? By the first, by the straight reduction says, what? Well, every word less than, length n should have a unique form. So if you have an n plus one form, then the first n vector, first n symbols will form a word right, with length n. So that has a unique form. And then you, the unique form add with one extra symbol, there's no cancellation, is unique again. You understand? Hey, excuse me, I understand it. So the first n symbol will have a one unique reduced form. And then this one unique reduced form, you just add an extra symbol on it. Should be unique, right? Because there's no cancellation. You mean well? Okay. Sorry? Because, because you start with a unique reduced form already, okay? And then you add D, there's no other similar things as D. You hear what I mean? Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I wanted to say, uh, what you add here is not, uh, it's in reduced form again. Uh, okay, and then the the addition of these two review forms, there's no cancellation also. Okay, yeah, so it should be unique. Okay, let me give you a condition, uh, extra um, condition. Uh, if if it is not reduced, then the possible then you can do some possible uh cancellation. And if not. Uh, some possibility, some possible um, cancellation can be done. <coughs> some version can be done, and the only com ambiguity that happened is, uh, the only ambiguity happens if you see x x inverse x okay why is this ambiguous huh? when can we cancel what either you see x s inverse or x inverse x so either you cancel the first two either you cancel the 
plus two. But in this case here, does it matter? No, why? No matter how you cancel, you are left with X. Okay, so this is the only uh, ambiguity will happen, but no matter how you do, however, both, <coughs> both left and right cancellation will produce the same uh, reduced word. Okay, reduced form. Produce the same reduced form. Okay. <coughs> so after cancellation, what do you get? The length of W becomes n plus 1 minus 2, which is n minus 1, which is less than or equal to n. So you can use uh, inductive hypothesis again to deduce that your word has a unique reduced form. Okay. Uh, this x is a random x. Maybe just some cancellation you can do. Yeah, what do I say? Say again. So th this x is a symbol inside your word. Possible. Oh, two cases, two cases. So either this word is reduced or either it is not. Two cases. Uh, the word for n plus 2. So we're discussing the word for n plus 2 here. Uh, sorry, sorry, n, n plus 1, sorry. We are considering the case where the word is n plus 1 length. No, 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 no. So this, they are, there are a few cases, right? So one, this is a base case, okay? And then inductive hypothesis here. Yeah. So inductive hypothesis has nothing to do with uh, inductive step. Uh. Inductive step, you start with a new element with a greater n by 1, n plus 1. Does it make sense? New word already. And then it's a new word with uh, n plus 1 then. Okay. So always we want to reduce to the n case first so that we can use inductive hypothesis. Okay, so for example, if it's not reduced, we can reduce uh, the word to n minus 1 length, which is less than or equal to n. Then by inductive hypothesis, we can say that w has only one reduced form. Okay. Only one reduced form. Okay or not? Okay. Any question? Hey, Yes. I mean, you count the number of symbols. Yes. Yes, that's right. So to be precise, I shouldn't write a uh, length of W already. So I should be saying that uh, with uh, maybe X, X inverse cancel like this, to be precise. Okay. And I cannot use the same W again. Yeah. Yeah, based on the number of symbols that appear. Yes. Okay, okay no. This uh, already with X S inverse cancel already. This length. It's not the W this your start with. Already cancel. <coughs> okay. Okay. Um right. Then next. <coughs> so in this case here, okay, what so when you go through this cancellation, right? <coughs> When you go through this cancellation, we'll say that all these words are equivalent. Okay, actually. <coughs> words are equivalent if uh, if 
they have the same reduced form. Okay, I'll give you an example in a moment. So if the word, <coughs> if two words have the same reduced form, they are equivalent. Uh, how do we write it? Uh, we will write as uh, W uh, tilde W prime. Okay, W tilde W prime. Okay, I'll give you an example here. So for example, uh, uh, let's say A, B, uh, so just now we have example A, B, B inverse C, C inverse D, something like this, right? Okay, so this is equivalent to what? Obviously, this is equivalent to its reduced form. It also equivalent to A, B, B inverse D, and also equivalent to A, C, C inverse D. Okay, so if they have the same reduced form, they are equivalent. <coughs> okay. And the proposition is like this. What's the proposition here? So, uh, proposition. Products. So actually, uh, I use the products here, right, when I put this string of symbols together. What kind of product we call this? This is called a concatenation. Okay. Concatenation or just star position. Okay, fun like pumpkin. Okay, concatenation, just a position. You put side by side. Okay. So, product of equivalent words are equivalent. Can you all translate this into a mathematical symbol? Since I already told you what is uh, equivalent is. Can you all translate this into mathematical symbol? Products of equivalent words are equivalent. Anyone know how to translate if what? W is uh, equivalent to W prime and V prime is equivalent to V, V is equivalent to V prime, then what? <coughs> WV is equivalent to W prime V prime. Okay. The product of equivalent words are uh, Okay, so try, can you try and think how to prove this? Uh? And prove this. <coughs> <coughs> how to prove it? Any idea <coughs> how to prove it? And then, I'm going to do reduce mail. Huh? So only, I only say that they have the same reduced form. OK. We think, huh? eh? like you see the example here, there's a the lag. OK, what sort of example you can do in your mind here. <coughs> Sorry? How do I define product? Yeah, so what does it mean by concatenation and just position? You just put side by side. Okay. For example, the product of x, y, what do you do? You just put x and y side by side. Okay, form the string, finite string. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, what's the strategy here? You need to show that both of them have. So by definition, what's equivalent? Equivalent word has what? Has the same reduced form. Oh, so you need to prove that these two word, these two product will have the same reduced form. Oh. Okay, you need to prove that they have a same reduced form. Oh. So how to prove it? I mean, you should give yourself some uh, example to think. You give yourself some example to think or not? Huh? So, well, I mean, uh, uh, so you can do something like, I mean, a simple one would do. Okay, so maybe this is an equivalent word. 
Maybe give another equivalent words. Maybe x inverse y. Okay, and then maybe you have b b inverse at the side. So the question is what? The question is asking whether y x inverse x inverse y is equivalent to y a a inverse x times x inverse y b b inverse. Y. Tell us why. Yx. 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 Oh, yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, are they equivalent or not from this calculation here? Are they? Are they equivalent? Uh, but is this last line here equivalent? What do you need to satisfy if you are two equivalent words? Huh? What's the definition? They have the same reduced form. Okay. So how to get reduced form here? What can be cancelled here? All the nearby inverse and x. Okay. So if you reduce here, what do you get? Y squared. On the other side, I just mean. What do you get? Y squared also? Okay. So what happens in your mind? Huh? What happens to your mind? What happened? You first, you find the reduced form in the equivalence word first. And then you look at the product if they can be cancelled also. Okay. So you have this process happening in your mind. Or you can do this product cancellation first and then you try and reduce what is inside here. Oh, don't get. Okay, so there are a few ways to do it. Huh? So, okay, let me draw you this uh, proof here. So the proof is, I take W and V, okay? I can go and reduce it to it, uh, reduce form. Also, on the other side, I can reduce W prime and V prime to W naught, V naught, because we assume that they're equivalent. And then, what else? <coughs> we can concatenate W, V together, and also W prime, V prime together. What happened here? What happened here? They will cancel. Maybe they have small cancellation when they multiply together. Okay, like what we see just now. So they can cancel in the middle here. Such that I just get W naught, V naught. Okay, but maybe W naught and V naught is not reduced. Right, not reduced. Correct or not? Let's look at here. See, ah, W naught, V naught. When you multiply get together, not much, don't reduce also. Okay, so what do you do? You can reduce some more. Okay, you can reduce some more. So to W naught, V naught, not. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> but this is equivalent to what? <coughs> this is actually equivalent to uh, you can do W, V and then reduce it. Okay, obviously this is, should be equal already. And then you also can reduce here. Okay, if you reduce, we use a different symbol. Anyway, yeah. So we reduce it. We get W not B not prime. And then it should be equal. Okay, so no matter what process you take, uh, they should go to the same W not V not. So this is uh, the reduced form for all of them. Okay, so let me introduce free group and then we will finish there. <coughs> so definition. So a set of uh, group elements uh, that satisfy no relation, okay, no relation. But actually, there are few relation, right? Meaning the group axiom, okay, except those uh, implied by the group axiom. It is called free. Okay, let me define a free group for you now. Okay, I define a free group now, but let me define a free group on these uh, symbols. <coughs> okay. After two examples, I will break here. 
So a group F of equivalent classes of word. And even classes of word. Can you uh, foresee why equivalent classes come up? Because just now we define equivalent word. So we want to put all the equivalent word together inside one class. So meaning what? Here there's a representative. Okay, so there's representative. In particular, what kind of representative represent the equivalent class here? Yes, good. It's the reduced form. Okay, so the reduced form will represent one uh, equivalent class. Good. So uh, it's a group of equivalent class of word with a free set of jointer. So this free is the free that I mentioned just now. So until here, I think you are wonder what's the LOC here? I sort of give you the hint already just now. What's the LOC here? Yes, concatenation. So this group of equivalent class is called a free group. Tiger Fu Hao. Tiger, join the X. Okay, I think uh, better I write it in this way. Here. So this is referring to the free set. Okay, so this free set here is called a free group on X with the following property. So what's the properties here? Uh, first, I need to tell you the LLC. So the LLC here is the uh, word concatenation. Okay. Just put single side by side or put word side by side. <laughs> <coughs> What's the identity here? Uh, what do you think? What's the identity here? If you concatenate, you get back your word. Empty word. Good. It's the empty word. So you put a blank. Okay, what's the inverse? What's the inverse? Yeah, it's the symbol. Okay, we just call it a symbol with an inverse on top of each uh, on top of each uh, symbol. Uh, in where? In in. I think in what? I think ah. Uh, um, I would say build up by generated by generated by <coughs> the symbol <coughs> A inverse for each A in S. Okay, generated by all the symbol A inverse. Oh, give you an example. After example, we break. Huh? So example, finish. Yeah, finish. Sorry. So let's define a free group on one element. Okay, on one element set. Oh, what's the free group on one element set here? It's just a cyclic group generated by. Okay. So what is inside here? You have a a square, a to the thousand, e or a to the minus three, for example. You also have a to the two, a to the minus two, a to the two, but, but what? But this element here should live in the equivalent class defined by a2. Okay, so actually they are equal. They should live in the same equivalent class. So let me. <clears throat> so usually equivalent class, for example, in modular arithmetic, right, we will put a bar, bar, bar like that. Okay, but in this case here, we we think that we understand already. We don't need to, to put this bar. But to be pedantic, you need to put the bar. But we understand that they represent one element here. So we kind of blur the equivalent class uh, definition here. Okay, yeah. Obviously, you need to do this. Okay, they are the same equivalent class. Okay, but you see, I every time put bar very troublesome. 
Okay, we understand it, so we can remove the bar actually. But you, in your mind, you should think that this is an equivalent class. <clears throat> and then uh, two, for example, free group generated by two elements. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can uh, do all sort of concatenation of these two symbols. Okay. So actually, these things actually you see it before, but now we make it uh, more abstract. Okay. Just symbol. Okay. Why is it different from the others? It is just symbols here. It's not number. It's symbols. And then later I'll show you how useful is this symbol is. Okay. Why we don't care about the bar anymore. Okay. So it's a very useful tool when this uh, group of uh, Equivalent class of it. Okay, any question before we finish? Or you have question on your exam? So I have, huh? Sorry? Why call free? Because there's no relation governing these uh, generators. There's no relation that govern the multiplication of these words other than group ax axiom. So they are free. Later, we will define a group which is not free. Okay, so which is called a presentation, group presentation by generators and relation. So we need to put extra relation into these generators. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, it's okay, for now you can. So there are free group on one generator, free group on two generators. So anyhow you want to combine them. Just that when you see A and A inverse, they have to be cancelled. That's the only relation, and identity. I mean, yeah, identity relation, group relation. <coughs> but in future, we will define something called group presentation by genders and relation. Then there will be non-trivial relation of the user generator. Okay. All right. So reminder for your exam: huh? where's the venue? Where's the venue? A four G one one. Okay, F G one one. So please don't bring printed or handwritten, uh, printed or typed. Shit, shit, uh, handwritten, uh, I written in your announcement in Moodle, uh, box of the please check, uh, handwritten A4 double sided. <coughs> How small you want to write is your freedom. Okay. So please don't do last minute cram, uh, because the test. Is testing your understanding. Okay, make sure you understand all the topics. <coughs> okay, good luck. See you on Thursday. <coughs>